Major appliances in the Good Things Utah kitchen provided by Mountainland Design. Be very concerned because I have a spatula in my hand. This is Janae from Cafe Janae, and she is here to put a twist on the old uh, peppermint bark that mom used to make oh, back when you were a kid. I mean, I loved smells. it. I loved it. And you can just so good in here. Thank you for not letting him hold a knife, Janae. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. I looked. There's not one. Soft, there's nothing edges. sharp that's around here. That's so. all we can trust Dawn with. So I'm at my in-laws, Dawn, on yes. Saturday, and they're in Orem. I don't see them very often, and my sister-in-law's right. there, and I'm sitting down. Having a good time. I'm, yeah. I'm there about 20 minutes. They all get up and put their coats on, and I go, oh, are, are, are we leaving? They go, no, we are. We're going to a class with, ca with Janae. We're yeah. going to a Cafe Janae class. You can stay. And I go, But no. they weren't going to miss it. No, no, they said we have to get to her class. And uh -huh. she said sold out class too, yeah, right? Yeah, so sold out So my in-laws love you. And Toughest hi to the Dagerings, yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, did you share this recipe with them? Uh, no, this is just specially okay, for the TV crowd. Ah. Yeah, look at now she's got something to rub her face. Now, I how is this different? How is this different than the one mom used to make? Because so I, love, I like the one yeah. mom used to make, yeah. but you're telling me... Not yeah, the healthy. regular holiday bark, it's made from white chocolate and dark chocolate right. that's made with sugar and hydrogenated right. oils. And, and we loved it as and kids. And highly processed chocolate. Did not chocolate. realize so how good. bad it was for us. Right, <laughs> so when you're switching to a healthy diet, you still want all this stuff you love, all that traditional fond memory food. Right. So how, um, do you, how do you do that with so this So what recipe? we're going to do is use raw chocolate okay. that's full of antioxidants, minerals, magnesium. Mm -hmm. And instead of the processed chocolate, we're going to use raw chocolate. Instead of sugar, we're going to use agave nectar and Stevia, now this is this is the agave, yeah, right? I thought it was honey. Well, it looks like honey. You right. can also use honey if you like, but the agave is a little bit more right. lo low glycemic index. Okay. And Don, have you tasted it? I have to just stick my little yeah. finger in there to taste. Have you tried agave? I haven't. Mm. That little it party has down the side. a really great flavor. Yeah, it's a great flavor. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So That's all we're gonna do flavor. is make two layers. We're gonna make the dark chocolate layer and the white chocolate okay. layer, and then I've made a faux candy cane topping. Okay, that that's, that's my favorite part. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead, what okay. do we need to do? So first of all, I'll have you make the uh, white chocolate. So okay. what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start with a base of cashews instead of sugar. Pour those in. Yeah. Pour those in the blender. Love and cashews. And then this is our raw cocoa butter. Careful, the bowl's warm. Okay, not there too you go. warm. Raw cocoa butter, throw it in there. And then some agave nectar. Okay. That's why we brought Nisha over here so she could do all the work. Now, it's not oh, flavored. I'm, I'm waiting for the eating. I'm going to wait for the eating. Yeah, you're going to do the work on this And this isn't flavored, right, Janae? Right. Because you can get this in all different flavors right. yes, now. Yes, you the can. Maple, the and actually, I have a little bit of vanilla stevia here that you okay, can put so in there. Okay, put that in there. Um, and some, a little tiny pinch of salt. And um, I put a small amount of agave nectar in there, but we're going to put a drop of, of vanilla stevia in here, too, to give it a vanilla flavor. I have ever tried and that, It's Janae? pretty good. Smell it. It's delicious. Oh, that does and have so a, just yeah, put a squirt of there, and, squirt of that. Uh -huh, and that's going to give it a bit of a vanilla flavor, and it's going to amp up the sweetness of the agave without the glycemic index. So that's all that's in the white. That's it. That's it. In, that's the, in the white chocolate. chocolate layer, we're going to blend that up, okay. and then for the dark chocolate layer, okay. you can do this. All we've got here is the raw cocoa butter melted. Right. And, and we're you putting can, everything in it. Well, let's put, let's put in right. the agave first. Sorry, here I'll okay. take that from you. Well, agave. Yeah, hand me the one. I'm going to. You know me. I'm just going <laughs> to do what you tell me to do. There you go. And then here's a, a, just a pitch of okay. salt. My expertise stops at toast, so you gotta. I know, you gotta really Don. You don't do the cooking at your house. Uh, breakfast. I'm good yeah. with breakfast. It's oh, just Wendy. Salt. Yeah, you got the salt. Then go ahead with the cocoa Which, powder. Do I need to do it slowly? Just, yeah, do it slowly. <laughs> okay. And here you go. Here's the peppermint extract. She's, you can just drop a few drops of that in there. That's gonna give it the yummy candy slow, cane flavor. Is that too fast? That's great. Keep Look at coming. that, eh? Hey, you'd almost think that I'm a chef. I'm gonna drop this in. Can I do it at the same? Is that enough? About maybe ten or twenty drops of that. The now you peppermint want, smells yes. so good. It really does. Now, I, I have to, I want you to give away the secret here on this stuff. I'm, uh -huh. I'm obsessing about it. But this is the, the candy that will eventually go on, okay? You would, you would put it on there. Yeah. And I, I had Nisha smell it. And she was, oh, peppermint. Well, taste it. Tell me what you think. Okay. How, how close is that to like a, a fake a candy cane? Oh, wow. A, a even healthy sticky candy like a candy cane, cane flavor. What's really what in it? What do you think? No, that's really close. Really right? good. What's really so, in it? So, um, goji berries. I just ground up some goji berries with some peppermint extract. I don't, I don't know what those are. Yeah. Goji berries. It's you can get them at the health food store. It's a berry from China that's very high in antioxidants. It's one of the superfoods. You don't um, have a plant in your backyard. I do, now. but I now need one. <laughs> I goji berries. I, I have a plant in my backyard. You, do? you can come pick them okay. at they, my house. They grow yes. here, huh? Okay. Yep. So all you do is you pour the dark chocolate layer on the pan okay. here, 
And then you're just gonna pour the white chocolate layer on top. Okay, you start pouring, Janae. I'm gonna tell everyone how to get this recipe, abc4.com, click on Good Things Utah. There's also a recipe hotline right there. And for more information about Cafe Janae, join my in-laws, go to her cooking classes, <laughs> get if her you cookbook. Get in. Go to our website. We'll put all her information right there. She too. also has ABC a 24-hour special. I've got a 24-hour sale on, on, her, my on her Thanksgiving book. recipe book. Twelve ninety-five, mm -hmm. normally twenty bucks, but go to abc4.com and GTU for the details on that one Good as deal. well. Feels like Christmas in <laughs> no, here. Yeah. Quick, here's a piece. Okay, here's a piece. Yeah, have a taste. And tell Cheers, Don. Good job, Janae. Thank we'll be you. right back, everybody. Cabinets for the Good Things Utah Kitchen provided by Davis Brothers Cabinet Makers.